The Court of Appeals judgment that sacked Igo Aguma as a caretaker committee of the All Progressive Congress APC in River State and affirmed the appointment of Isaac Ogbobula as the National Caretaker Committee as the River's interim leader has not yet resolved the lingering crisis in the party. While the camp of the party loyal to the transport minister, Rotimi Amechi, celebrated the judgment, the senator Magnus Abe's group on Friday said Aguma had already filed an appeal against the judgment and served his rivals. Speaking in Portaco, the director general, Freedom House and former commissioner for justice in the state, Wogu Booms, also disclosed the factions plan to flout a litigation fund amid at pursuing members' quest to entrench internal democracy in the party. He said, beside the Aguma's appeal, there was a subsisting judgment in a separate case of Ibrahim Umar and nine others versus APC that continue to remain binding on all members of the party. He said the court affirmed the right of Ibrahim Umar and other thousands of party members who paid for forms but were denied the forms to participate in the Congress, saying that the Congress could not validly hold without their participation. Baum said in that judgment, the court described as stupid the approach and conduct of the leadership of the party in their matter, insisting that no one should expect to benefit from such stupidity. He said, this decision of the Supreme Court was in affirmation of the judgment of the Justice Keleshi Wogu of the State High Court. As it stands, the decision in this judgment of the Supreme Court affirming the rights of the Ibrahim Omar and his thousands others remains unchanged and cannot ever be altered by anyone, no matter how highly placed, as the judgment of the Supreme Court, according to the Supreme Court itself, is for all time and for all ages. So the rights of all the Ibrahim Omars who paid for forms to contest for the Congresses are preserved for as long as it takes the APC to organize the Congresses and until the Congresses are validly held with their participation unless they themselves decide not to participate. It is a decision that can never be academic. It will stand until it fulfills that for which it was decided. Moreover, when that time comes, they will not need to pay for forms anymore, having already previously paid for the same. Booms explained that after the decision on Ibrahim Omar, another set of aggrieved party members who also paid for forms but were not issued filed a separate suit in the High Court, praying the court to declare that whenever the Congresses would hold, only persons who paid for forms at the relevant period in May 2018, according to the guidelines issued then, should stand for the Congresses. He remembered that the court, after hearing from Dele Moses and his aggrieved group, and after hearing the APC agreed with Dele Moses and granting them their reliefs. It is this judgment of the Justice Judge Omereji, then of the State High Court, now retired, that the APC appealed against. They did not like that, the judgment. They want those who didn't pay for forms then to come now to pay and participate when, I'll be into, they did not issue forms to the Dele Moses and Ibrahim Omar's who obeyed the party guidelines and showed interest in serving the party by paying us and when due. This position of the party is curious, despising and seeking to exclude those who want to serve the party by paying on time according to schedule while wanting to bring in and pamper those not really genuinely interested. Consequently, the APC appealed against the judgment of Emery G.J. as he then was. It is this appeal that the Court of Appeal decided on Tuesday. The Court of Appeal decided also the Ego Aguma suit. That decision on Ego Aguma has been celebrated by the APC Rivers faction loyal to the Honorable Minister for Transportation without a mention of this Dele Moses judgment by the same court. At any rate, Ego Aguma has responsibly stepped aside for his deputy, Ben Chioma, to be acting in his stead while he pursues his appeal against the judgment. I can declare to you that the appeal has already been filed and the party saved, he said. Booms explained that a faction lawyer to Ameshi appealed the judgment on Dele Moses and transferred the case from the Potako division of the appellant court to the Abuja division. He said, after hearing the parties, especially the objection that Dele Moses' lawyer raised in their notice of plenary objection, that court on Tuesday dismissed the appeal of the appellant. 
It upheld the objection of Dele Moses' lawyers as urged in their plenary objection that the time of the minister's faction of the party to be heard and to determine the matter had expired. In the language of the Court of Appeal, the notice of objection filed by the respondent, that is, Dele Moses' lawyers, challenging the jurisdiction of this court to adjudicate on the appellant's appeal is well-founded and is hereby upheld. Consequently, the appellant's appeal, which is founded on the notice of appeal dated and filed on the 10th day of June 2020, is hereby struck out, same having been caught by the provisions of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. It is clear, therefore, that the Justice Omereji judgment was not upturned. It is preserved and intact. What that means is that the decision that only those who paid for forms are the only ones to participate in the Congresses whenever they shall hold remains, unless the faction accepted by its appeal this judgment further to the Supreme Court and succeeds in obtaining it. Till then, it has to come to stay like the decision of Ibrahim Umar. Booms lambasted the Amechi's faction for denigrating the wife of a judge of the High Court describing the attack on the woman as savage. He said the judge's only offense for which his wife was dragged in for public ridicule was that he handed down a judgment that did not favor. He, however, noted that the same judge struck out the contempt proceedings instituted before him against chieftains of the same faction, such as Senator Andrew Igbonule Uchendu and Skonto Davis. Boom said that the rival faction took audacity to new heights when he began to issue warnings and threats to the judiciary, describing it as an attempt to infuse timidity into the judication to allow impunity in APC rivers to continue unchecked. This is unacceptable. The same faction has had judgment in their favor from the same judiciary. It is when they lose, they issue warning and threats, but celebrate when they win. This is insincere. We want to make it clear that no power exists in this world to stop anyone from access to justice and that the River State Judiciary has a constitutional duty to hear anyone, any of us, everyone who conceives and even imagines that his right has been or are likely to have been trampled upon. We hereby announce that as civilized politicians, we should continue to have recourse to the judiciary whenever we have need to and the state judiciary itself cannot do anything about that much less. Order us to how and when we wish to file a suit there according to the laws of the land which they have sworn to uphold. It is theirs to decide whether our complaint is cognizant in law or not, meritorious or not. That is their prerogative and nothing more. No judge should allow himself or herself to fall prey to the trickery of bullying politicians who scare judges and litigants away from seeking and administering justice by threatening judges, as that faction of the APC River State wants to. We remind all that without the judiciary, Honorable Rotimi Amechi, now Minister of Transportation, would not have been a governor of this state in the first place. Without the court, Senator Andrew Igbonoli Uchendu won't have been a senator of the Federal Republic, amongst much else. It is too late now in the day to want to incite people against the judiciary by calling judges names or because you want a festering of political authoritarianism. This is unacceptable and will never be allowed. Indeed, we demand that the doors of the halls of justice remain open at all times, like the general hospital for no one knows when evil will prowl as it does when they assume that the institution that listens to the oppressed and the sick are asleep. The price for liberty will venture to remind all is external vigilance. The Court of Appeal Abuja put aside the festive season and public holidays and short court vacations to hear election-related matters and to deliver the judgment it did on Tuesday. That is as it should be, especially in election and political matters in which time is of the essence. We urge the River State Judiciary to emulate them and to be open even on Sundays and all public holidays for anyone who seek to rush there to be saved from oppression for, in matter of this nation, an hour of delay even less may cause irreparable harm. He added, we hereby announce our decision to flout a litigation fund in Rivers APC in aid of recourse to courts to assist members in their 
exertions to entrench internal democracy in our party. When the plans are concluded, we shall publicly be soliciting funds from interested public members who believe in the ideas of democracy and clean politics devoid of one-man show. No one can and should be allowed to attempt to stop anyone from access to justice. The consequences of the society are dear. APC crisis in River State is really, really heated up. Guys, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates, bye for now and God bless.